incremental innovation, of course, if we take, for example, an iPod, which is definitely a new product category, but what we are seeing now is a different generation of iPod coming from Apple. So this is a typical example of incremental innovation. Every iPod is a little bit better, a little bit better resolution, a little bit thinner, uh, but that's incremental. That's Apple doing what they're already doing and doing a little bit better. And of course, there are many other companies go, uh, coming in with the, same, with the same product, improving incrementally. That's a typical example of incremental innovation, showing that company, companies are doing something that they are already good at, but improve incrementally. And companies in general are very good in incremental innovation. Radical innovation is of course on the other uh, extreme of the continuum and of, we have to understand that radical innovation doesn't happen that, that often, it doesn't happen uh, frequently, but it, it, it does happen. Of course, we can look at an example of radical innovation like invention of internet and introduction of internet which actually created uh, 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 almost a new, uh, new revolution. So that's a typical example of radical innovation. We can also talk, uh, look at other examples, for example, uh, like electric cars certainly change the automotive industry and all the demands around the, around the, uh, uh, around the sustainability uh, will certainly create a lot of uh, a lot of radical innovation. For example, for automotive automotive businesses. So those are examples uh, that illustrate the difference between incremental innovation and radical innovation, where the companies have to engage in something that they are not necessarily good at, something that is really new for them, new for industry, or in some cases like internet, pretty much new to the world. A disruptive innovation is is a particular type of innovation where we are more focused on consequences of innovation. Uh, the good example is digital imaging and Kodak. We know that the, uh, the invention of digital imaging, which interesting enough Kodak was part of it, uh, affected, affected Kodak core capability, which was more in the film, in the chemistry. And they, they could never really switch from film to the, to the digital imaging. Uh, but we have to be aware that such disruptive technology usually starts in a niche market. At the very beginning, it's not better than, than existing technology. And this creates challenges for innovation managers because they are inclined to ignore this technology and they can never adapt quickly enough. But disruptive technologies are, if we talk about disruptive technology, we are focusing on the consequences of technological change. But it's not necessarily just technology is disruptive, it can be a business model can be disruptive uh, as well, and the companies have to, to adapt.